Welcome to Startup Truck. Today is another teardown. I've got some kids who had these Gab watches. I don't know if you know what these are. They're kind of like a tracking watch for kids with a cell phone built in, kind of Dick Tracy style. Problem is, uh, my kids both had them and they both broke within the last four months of a two-year contract. And so while I had to pay to get out of that contract, at least I'll get to tear it apart and show some people what's on the inside. That way they can see if, you know, they think it's repairable or not um, based on the ones that they have that might break. I doubt it, but either way, it'll be fun. So let's see what's inside of it. All right, so here's my kid's smashed up gab watch. So I'll take it apart and show you guys how, uh, how it's built and uh, what's inside of it. And it's not really serviceable because they don't sell any replacement parts, but either way. All right, so first part of it is the charging connector on the back here. It connects to those four pins and uh, I don't know if these are magnets or what. Pieces of steel, maybe. I think they're pieces of steel. And either way. Here's the main body. Um, we can unscrew here and here and here. And take off the uh, this back plate. Had to get my tiny screwdriver. Okay, so. Those are some long screws. So we can disconnect these two guys. These three. We got a couple buttons here. Looks like a speaker here. off also I think this is the battery maybe okay this guy is definitely for the switches and then this is definitely for the speaker Oop. yeah the speaker still left in there but it, that was for it Oh, this guy's for the battery, this lower one. There it is. Cool. All right. So, then on the back side of the screen, you've got some sort of connector here. Looks like it goes to a digitizer. Um, so another circuit board, and then the speaker. There we go. Got the speaker out. Oop! And I totally broke it. Coil came out with it. There's a port for the microphone. The tiny little switches came out. Wow, they're small. Okay. So now if I heat the screen up, I should be able to push it out from the back side. Hmm. 
Hmm, that looks good. Just like nature intended. All right, well, that screen is all shattered, but I was able to get this guy out. And we can carefully remove this little shielding bit. Okay, so one of these goes to the touch screen portion, one of these goes to the regular screen portion. My guess is this goes to the regular screen and this goes to the digitizer. Alright, I'm not gonna get any more shattered glass on my fingers if I can help it. Let's look at this guy now. Here's the mic. Right there. And then a whole bunch of, oh, a little motor. Vibrating motor. Cool. And then a whole bunch of black box we don't know what's in there. So let's find out. Okay, some chips, but not any major ones, probably for charging and other things, battery management. This seems like it's the money side. There we go. Kingston. Well, that... If it says Kingston, makes me think this is memory. Although, why does it have so much memory? Interesting. can't see what it is, but that's probably the cell chip. And then some other stuff. I don't know. But either way, that's the inside of a gab watch. That's really shiny, whatever that chip is. Hmm. Great. Either way, my kids no longer have these gab phone watches. Instead, I got them super heavy-duty Caterpillar flip phone watches that are indestructible and cheap. Thanks for watching that teardown. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of funny. My kids now have flip phones, and their friends think they're cool, which is hilarious because they used to be really uncool, and now they're cool again. I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.